Hi everyone and welcome to the Shotokan Chronicles. In today's video we're going to kick off a brand new series here on the channel. We're going to bring to you Nakayama's Legacy. Now this series of videos is crucial to the Japan Karate Association and we're going to kick it all off with Heian Shodan. But first, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Now I received this video series back when I was a yellow belt, maybe a white belt from my instructors because I had a really keen interest in learning as many kata as I possibly could. So I watched these videos and I taught myself a lot of the ins and outs of these different kata. Heian Shodan is a basic kata. Its purpose is to acquire a fundamental theory and a basic technique indispensable to karate. This is Master Osaka performing Heian Shodan. Mr. Naki counting. She go. Let's watch the film, punctuated by instructor Nakayama's commentary. This kata is a basic defensive waza. It consists of kadan harai, jodan ageuka, chudan kokutsu uke, and chudan oitsuki. The stances are Zenkutsu Dachi and Kokutsu Dachi. Perform the third Ageuke powerfully as a decisive waza rather than a mere defensive one. In twisting around, twist your waist quickly using your back leg as an axis. Do not lift your heel from the ground. That's an important point. Do not lift your heel from the ground when you turn or move in any kata, kihon, or kumite. Shi, go. Three consecutive thrusts are intended not to allow an opponent time to counter-attack. Thrust as rapidly as possible, especially on the second and the third thrusts. The lines on the floor of the Imbusen, it's basically your road map. Master thoroughly the method of turning direction and shito uke in kokutsu dachi. I love the way Master Osaka performs this kata. Pretty much any kata he performs. Each action is not independent. The end of one waza is the beginning of the next. Kata must be continuous and flowing. 
each movement intricately related and performed with concentration and total effort. Please pay attention to the continuity of the kata. Let's watch again. Instructor Nakayama's commentary. In the fourth movement, the twist of the wrist and the course the moving arm follows are very important. When you are caught in a powerful grasp, you cannot break free by mere pulling. You pull toward the extension of the arm and simultaneously twist your wrist. If you still cannot break free, pull your fist back with a rapid movement of the forearm. So many people make that mistake. In the seventh movement, you block with the left hand and then the right hand. Once you've blocked, open your hand. These movements are precise. In karate, the defense turns into the offense at once. In changing direction, practical use of an axial leg is very important. In this case, fix a bended knee and without changing place, twist your waist using the leg as an axis. This is so crucial throughout every kata or any, any kihon or in some...
This is it for the first video in the series. We will come back over the next couple weeks with more video from the Nakayama Legacy video series. To check out some of my other videos, you'll see some uh, screens popping up over here. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here on the Shotokan Chronicles.